August 13, 2018 reef save test. After dropping two test traps at 150 feet, we found that the jaws were not opening properly as they hit this, the bottom. So we changed the rigging so that the float on the fad was separate from the lines that pull the jaws together. We moved to a shallow area to test the change. And this works correctly. The jaws lay down onto the sand causing very little impact damage. The fad stays aligned with the axle and is kept upright from the float. Concerned about dropping the trap at depth, we add air to the float using the regulator. This causes the axle to be lifted above the center point of the jaws. Even after dropping the trap again, it cannot be reset. The diver opens the jaw to allow the trap to lay flat on the sand. Once again, the trap is pulled up. The axle pulls above the jaws and the trap cannot be in proper position for deployment to catch lionfish. So the diver empties the excess air from the float. In this test, we are using for a float an empty container, which is typical of what fishermen in this area would use. After removal of the excess air from the float, we test again, and now the jaws close properly and lock.